What is going on guys? Dan Wilkinson here coming back at you with another video. Today we are doing can you name the top five NFL draft picks each year from 1980 to 2009? The answer is probably uh, some of them, yes. I sh for sure can. So it's, you know, every year since 1980. Uh, I know some of them for sure, as you might have known from the intro. Uh, but nevertheless, let's go ahead and get into this. 150 to get in 13 minutes. We'll start with 2009. Matt Stafford is Detroit Lions. St. Louis Rams is... Uh, I immediately thought Jake Long, but he's the other year and with Chris Long, too. That's the tackle. Did I already... I, I don't remember his name. He's a big-ass tackle. I feel like his last name might have been Johnson. We got Andre Calvin and Keyshawn. Um, ooh, Jones? We have Marvin Jones, Cedric Jones, and Johnny Jones. That's not who I'm trying to get, though. What was his name? Big, he was like, he was so big. I don't know. Uh, Kansas City. Glenn Dorsey. Oh, he was 2008. Who was 2009? First round pick. This is actually way harder than I thought. Uh, Seattle. That's Aaron Curry. And then New York Jets is Mark Sanchez. There we go. Kansas City in 09. That was the year they drafted Jamal Charles, but not in the first round. He was a third round pick, I think. Wasn't Glenn Dor Was that uh, 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 Tyson Jackson? It was Tyson Jackson. Okay, we also got Kenny Jackson in 1984. I still can't remember the name of that St. Louis Rams offensive lineman, which is tough. Uh, 2008, Atlanta is Matt Ryan. Oakland is Darren McFadden. There we go. 2007, of course, Jamarcus Russell. And then Cleveland took... That was not... Brady Quinn was later. They took Joe Thomas there. We also get Derek Thomas and Blair Thomas. Um, Tampa Bay in 2007. Who did they take? I know Josh Freeman wasn't that high. I wouldn't type his name anyway. There's maybe you think of Freeman McNeil, who I think we'll get to later. I think he was a top five pick for the Jets. Arizona in 07. This is really hard to remember because it could be so many different players. All right, we're going to move on. Uh, Houston is Mario Williams. That also gets Carnell, Cadillac Williams, Mike Williams, Ricky Williams, hook him horns. 2006, New Orleans. Reggie Bush. Tennessee is Vince Young. Hook him horns. New York Jets took that year. Who did the Jets take? Kellen Clemens, maybe? I mean, I'm trying to get quarterbacks. 2006 for the Jets. Um, Vernon Golston? I think he might have been... I think he was 2007. Green Bay, 2006. Is that the Aaron Rodgers draft class? No, he was taken mid ride Why did I even type him? Um, who did they take in 2006? I don't know. 2005, San Fran, Alex Smith. I was like, Jason Smith was his name for the Rams. I knew I was getting the J. That gets me Achilles Smith as well. Justin Smith. Drafted with the Bengals. Forgot about that. Neil Smith of the Chiefs. Miami. Who'd they take in 2005? Who did they take? I'm like, I'm trying to think of positions and I'm like, who would have fit the time period? Cleveland. I love L. Uh, mm, that wasn't English. I'm just going to go San Diego with Eli Manning. I also get Peyton Manning, of course. Oakland in 2004. Is that Robert Gallery? It was. Arizona. Who did Arizona take in 04? Anquan Bolden, maybe? No. The Giants took Phil Rivers, kind of. And then Washington. Who did the Redskins take in 04? 
Uh, let's go to 2003's Carson Palmer. Detroit is Charles Rogers. Let's get George Rogers, 81 Saints. Who did the Jets take that year? Is Demarcus Ware 2003? No. 2002, Derek Carr. I mean, David Carr. I know. Uh, Carolina. Who did Carolina take next? Could it? Was it Jake Delone? No. I know I, he wasn't even a first round pick. I don't think. I don't know why I typed that. Who did Carolina? Oh, Julius Peppers. There we go. Detroit 2002. Another Millen era pick. Joey Harrington, maybe? There we go. San Diego, 2002. I think that's Sean Merriman. It's not. Witten Jammer? Hook him horns. There we go. Okay, 2001 for the Cardinals. Who was the number one pick? Could it have been a quarterback? I, I just don't remember. Um, oh, that, that says Atlanta. Okay. Arizona's the second pick, which I still don't know who that would have been. And then Cleveland. I mean, Tim Couch is going to be on here for 99. Um, let me go with quarterbacks. I know Ryan Leaf is going to be on here for San Diego, 98. St. Louis in 97. Uh, who I don't know. Is Edger and James top five pick? He was. 1999 for the Colts. I know Dan Wilkinson's on here for 94 for the Bengals. Wilkinson. There we go. Um, New England is Drew Bledsoe in 1993. 92 for the Colts is that Jeff George. He's 1990. Is that Jim Harbaugh? No, he wasn't the number one overall pick. What, what was that guess? Dallas, 91. 91? Is that, not Emmett Smith. He wasn't number one pick. Well, I know Troy Aikman was 1989. 91. They picked first. What position would they have gone after? Is Charles Haley top? Michael Irvin top five anywhere? I know he's not number one. All right. Uh, 87, I see Tampa Bay. That's Vinny Testaverde. 88 for the Falcons. Gerald Riggs anywhere in there? It's hard. I don't know the answers all the way back then. 84 for the Giants. It's Carl Banks. Which makes me think of uh, 81. That also gets me Chip Banks, by the way. 81 is Lawrence Taylor. That also gets me Sean Taylor. Sean Taylor was a top five pick? Apologies. New York Jets is Freeman McNeil in that 1981 class, I'm pretty sure. There he is. Seattle, is that Kurt Warner? He's 83. Uh, Detroit, 80. That's got to be Billy Sims, a running back. Also, we're number 20. That gets me Kenneth Sims. All right, so we're 62 out of 150 right now. Oh, Atlantic 2001's Michael Vick. Okay. Jesus. See, when you're doing these quizzes often, like, you just blank out. Washington had back-to-back -back picks in 2000, second and third. Question is, who'd they take with those picks? Who was good on the Redskins? I have no idea. I mean, they don't even have to be good is the problem. I know Heath Schuler, I think, was a top five pick to Washington. That must have been 1995. It was 94. Indianapolis had back-to-back -back picks in 1992. Marvin Harrison doesn't make sense because the time's not right. Eric Dickerson was definitely a top five pick. Eric Dickerson was drafted by the Rams, I'm pretty sure. So that'd be 1983. That's Eric Dickerson. Boom. Was Terrell Davis top? Leonard Davis for Arizona. I would never have come up with that. Um, was Kabir Gabaja Bia Mila? Gabaja Bia Mila? Nah. What about Aaron Campman? I, I keep seeing the... Uh, the uh, Packers come up. 
That reminds me of Brett Favre, who was drafted by the Falcons. Atlanta, a top five pick, 1991. Is that Brett Favre? No, he wasn't a top five pick. I don't even know if he was a first round pick. I can't, I can't recall. Jacksonville, is that Fred Taylor? We already typed in Taylor. Uh, Mark Brunell, was he a first round pick? No, they're not top five. Yeah, I'm really struggling here. Cause like, I'm trying to remember some players during this time period. Like Marshall Falk, Indi oh, Indianapolis, that's right. I forgot he was drafted there. I knew he was on the team, I just didn't put two and two together. Seattle, is that Rick Mirror? There we go. Saw that next to it. Phoenix, Jake Plummer. I know we played on the Phoenix Cardinals. I want to be annoyed when I see some of these answers, I'm sure. But like some, I just can't remember. Oh, that I, is Tampa Bay Gaines Adams? Oh my goodness. That is nice. Green Bay, 2006, top five pick. 2006 though. Like, I just don't know who it would be. Like I, I have names in my head, like BJ Raji, but he doesn't match the time period at all. He was drafted past 2010. Um, I mean, I can remember Donald Driver. I can remember Javon Walker. I can remember Greg Jennings, obviously, but like none of these guys match the time period. I can remember Amon Green. I can remember Charles Woodson was a top five pick. That's right, Oakland, 1998. Didn't even see that. Jim Everett, I think, is probably on here. Yeah, he was top five pick to the Oilers. Was Mark Ripien? No. Was Steve Burline? No. Atlanta eighty-five. Or, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Eighty-three. We missed the most. One of the most important ones. Baltimore eighty-three is John Elway. He was drafted by the Colts. Jim Kelly was in that same class. He wasn't drafted by them. Who Denver taking that draft? I don't remember. I have no idea. 91, I have no one. I have a number of years with nobody. That's Tony Boselli. There we go for Jacksonville, 1995. And then Cincinnati, 1980, is probably Anthony Munoz. There we go. What else do we have? 2000. I should be able to get somebody from 2000. I know Clinton Portis was not a top five pick, but and he wasn't even drafted there. He was drafted to Denver. Maybe think of a number of players that are not on this list. Baltimore 2000, was that Derek Mason? Was that Steve McNair? Not in 2000, but he was Houston. He was dropped by the Oilers in 95. Um, was Boomer Esiason a top five pick? No. 2000, I should be able to get one. Who was the quarterback they drafted that year? It was absolutely a quarter. No, actually it might not have been. Bernie, not for that year, but Bernie Kosar might have been somewhere on here. Um, Cincinnati, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm out of time. Got 50%. Average score was 35%. Larry Fitzgerald. Oh, boy. Okay. Missed Levi Brown for the Cardinals. Missed DeBrickishaw Ferguson and A.J. Hawk. Like, uh, I, okay, the problem is, like, I know these guys, obviously. I know everyone on this list. But, like, you forget they were taken so highly, especially A.J. Hawk, who was so good at the start of his career out of Ohio State and totally fell off. The Rickshaw Ferguson, obviously one of the craziest names ever, one of the best linemen the Jets have ever seen. Uh, Ronnie Brown, Braylon Edwards, Cedric Benson, Hook'em Horns. I can't believe I forgot he was taken that high. Braylon Edwards, too, you don't think about it. Ronnie Brown taken second. Larry Fitz is inexcusable. I forgot he was taken that high. Dwayne Robertson wouldn't have got it. Terrence Newman forgot about Jared Warren. Ladanian Tomlinson. God, man. That's so annoying. LeVar Arrington. That was so easy. Missed Jamal Lewis, too. I missed Donovan McNabb. Missed Orlando Pace. I missed Peter Bulware. Missed Curtis Ennis, I should have gotten, probably. Missed Simeon Rice and Jonathan Ogden. Missed Kerry Collins. God. I wish I had more time. Garrison Hurst, Willie McGinnis, should have gotten. Should have gotten. Nah, I, I forgot Desmond Howard was taken by the Redskins. Um, 
Miss Cortez Kennedy. That was an easy one. Miss Junior Seau. That's another easy one. Miss Barry Sanders. I didn't even see Detroit 89. I skimmed over that. Miss Deion Sanders. Miss Tony Casillas. That's an easy one. Probably should have gotten Chris Dolman and Ray Childress. Probably should have gotten Irving Fryer and Chris Hinton. I probably should have gotten all of 83. I forgot Jim McMahon. Wow. I feel like I should have done way better than 50% because I missed so many obvious ones. Getting a Skype call. Um, guess that's as good a time as any to end the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I'm sorry. I did not perform well. Very disappointing, but yep. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy. This shit don't run away.